there are many things uh, that we can do. The more you polish, the more you redesign yourself, the more you reinvent yourself, is your uh, the more you shine. No doubt that talent and producer uh, is uh, is a play a um, important role in your life. But we can see it that it always not up to the mark hundred percent. It is your hard work only that makes it up to the hundred percent. After a certain limit, that work is only that work is only at the hard work. We have to do hard work on the daily basis. Neither there is any shortcut, there and nor there is any substitute for the hard work. We have it, and the hard work is a quality that we have to meet it ourselves. I can also put it on another way that is a hard work. But it a uh, hard work plays a great therapy as a medicine uh, than uh, it plays an important role uh, um, in a great therapy as a medicine and the um, Whenever you uh, feel that you are not, uh, whenever you feel that you are not, uh, sir, can I take a break? No, I'm sorry, there are only 15 seconds left. Please continue. Hard work is an element of the body. It is the mind. It is the heart and the soul. Thank you. Okay. Good job, good job, great effort. Everybody, come on, give it up for Alina. Good morning, everyone. I'm Irina Padwe. Today, I'm going to talk about a friend in need as a friend indeed. We all have people that we can trust truly. Those are the people that we truly believe in. Amongst them are our very own best friends. But sometimes, trust takes a long time coming, and we cannot trust people easily. Every time you talk to a friend, you must feel secured and comfortable. If you do not feel this way, it's uh, probably because you don't trust that person wholly. If you are in trouble, that's a friend who will always be there by your side to help you and be a shoulder that you can cry on. But it doesn't happen very often. True friends come around very rarely. Most people will be there with you in your happy and good times. But when there is darkness in your life, there are very less people who will uh, be there to support you. And that is why we must trust people nicely. And we also should see who we are trusting because sometimes we tell people about all our problems and at the end, they end up betraying us. This is not ju uh, just words, but I'm saying it from a personal experience because I have had a lot of friends. Recently, I changed my school and now I lost a best friend. She moved on pretty easily, but I felt very hurt when I knew that she moved on. And that is why I now know that I shouldn't trust people so easily. And we mustn't get attached to people fast. We should believe in those people who we think can be trustable and are a good listener. I think that we all should be aware of this thing because very less friends are there to help us. But yet there are people who think that you deserve some support and respect. And those are true friends. Recently, I've come across a, a girl who has been very supportive. And I'm very glad I met her. That's all that I would like to share with you today. Thank you. So, hi, I am Parmesha. And today I will tell you about the topic, Cycle is the best mode of transport for youth. Cycle, also known as bicycle, was invented by Carl von Rassen in 1817. In the techie world today, we are all busy in our smartphones and electronic devices. And we are, not, we are traveling in, our, in the cars. 50% of the car trips release many, many carbon, uh, many carbon dioxide. And it is harmful for the environment. If you travel through bicycle, you can travel around three times as fast as walking. Humans on bikes, bicycles move more efficiently than any other creature on earth. You live longer. Research has said that if you uh, do by uh, if you travel with bicycle every day for one hour, you live longer 
like your age is 60, then you will live 70 years. Cyclone can burn 600 cal calories in an hour. S it saves the planets and the forest. Climate change is the main problem because the vehicles like cars, buses, release carbon dioxide, which is harmful for the environment. And climate change is the main reason for it. If you do cycling, then there would be less carbon dioxide and climate change will, re will reduce. Humans can, be, can cycle for one hour per day and they can make their health more healthy because it is said that cycling improves the immunity of our body, which is very important in this time of crisis because the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is going on. Thank you. Good morning, judges and my dear participants. I am Ishan, and today I am going to give a speech on Save Water, Save Earth. We know that Earth is called the Blue Planet, and 79% uh, of water is covered by uh, the Earth is covered 79% of water and 21% of land. And water is necessary for our daily life activities and creative work. We see that water helps us in doing many things like bathing, drinking, washing clothes, etc. We know, we know that only 0.03% of water is drinkable for, for humans and if we not save that water, we will, if we will be able to not live in the future generation. Because some people are wasting water and uh, not leaving the water for the human purpose. We know that water is issues for all living beings because to survive on earth. We need three comp components, air, water and land. So if water is not saved by us, we may not survive. And this earth will be plain. We are not used to uh, save water because whenever we go to brush our teeth, we own the water and we keep on the water and the water flows down and we cannot uh, save the water and it it is in the seepage. So, uh, so water are not filtered and they go out in the no use category. So I hope you like this. Thank you. Hi everybody, I am Kyosha Kohli from class 7th and today I am going to speak a two-minute speech on the topic Charity Begins at Home. Charity is something that should be given by heart and not by mind. Only some people who are God-gifted have the chance to donate something to the poor people or to the needful. As we know that good deeds come back to us and Lord Krishna himself has defined this very well in Mahabharat that good deeds come to us. And it happened with me as well. I donated some a few money to a needful who need who needed the money to buy men, medicines, and that came out to be true. That good deeds are helpful, and also. Uh, as I donated some money, it came good to me as well because at that time I was praying for my grandmother to get well soon as she was not, uh, she was very sick. So she, uh, I prayed a lot and that came out to be good and I was so happy that she was fine again. So in my point of view, charity begins at home because if our family members and, uh, and we and our family members should donate some money or anything that you are able to donate, please donate to the charity box because it is very, it is very important to donate because sometimes a man or a person can be at that position when he needs a donation from a person. So you can also be sur surrounded by such an environment when you need donations. So please donate in the charity box. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Present here, myself Ojas. And today I am going to speak on the topic, which is really very interesting. Action speaks louder than words. It is true that action speaks louder than words. And this is because if 
we can judge our feelings to someone by action by more nicely than words like if someone hurts some one other some other person then it then this action is not good and the other will not like it that's the reason why we say that actions are louder than words and this is the topic which we should follow in our daily routine and our daily life and it's very important too thank you good morning everyone i am rakshit mudgil of class 7th today i am going to present a speech in front of you all on the topic all that glitter is not a gold it is a popular saying warning against falsehood this proverb means that not all things seem appealing are actually good for us gold is bright yellow metal and it shines brightly however there are many things which shine bright but they are not gold similarly a thing may look bright and beautiful but it may not be valuable we should not a judge thing by its outward appearance we should examine it from its inner it from inner side and we should get its deeds then we have to see what deeds have a person done the real value of thing does not lie in its appearance and sometimes may be deceptive a person may wear fine dresses appearance may be beautiful but in reality he may be very bad person again a man's dress may not be good his appearance may be ugly but such a man may possess real qualities at head and heart the following examples from everyday events explains the relevance of proverbs in today's world there is one more proverb that which is said very frequently that we should not judge a book by its cover it is like the same the proverb reminds us to only purchase things of true worth not of if it is good and not from inside we may like at first the thing but at end we would maybe not like it that and a man should be judged by its inner qualities and deeds a man should never be judged by his outward appearance and his words one may be a smith but we would thought of villain of the person by his dress thank you and have a nice day Right, okay, wonderful. Hi, good evening. My name is Srija, and today I will be talking talking about the topic. Laughter is the best medicine. One of the best feeling in the world that also brings so much of cheer to life is laughter. It really is one of the best medicines in the world. Also, whether it's a smile. or just a slight giggle laughter completely alters the atmosphere and mood of the surrounding it makes you feel good and everyone around you will also feel positive the laughter is the best medicine thank you sir hello everyone i am vedant According to me, offline school is better than online school. There are many problems in online school, like uh, internet connection problem, and uh, many students is not know how can we can how can they connect uh, in online classes. how can they turn on camera turn on video we can't take the fun and fun with our friends and our teachers we can't check that i that i write is uh, right or wrong we can't take fun from 
our best teachers, from our best teachers and uh, big students uh, from us. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I am going to speak on the topic, Health is Wealth. Health is Wealth is a world famous proverb concerning health. A healthy body is defined as the overall ability of the body to function well. It includes the physical, mental, emotional and social health of all people. Health, health can be also uh, preferred by doing yoga and outside games. When one maintains good health, he or she opens a key to happiness. When maintaining health, it depends on multiple factors, such as drinking water regularly, eating food on time, sleeping 8 hours. Life also ranges from the people you spend time to the air around that you breathe. Health contains lot of, lots of equally important components. Even if one of the components goes missing, a person cannot remain as healthy. The prime source of happiness and bliss is our health. This much only. Thank you.